And hello, everybody. The PCTV Network presents, proudly presents, the 2012 Pottstown 4th of July Parade uh, live. Going down High Street in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. It is brought to you by the law firm of Yergi Daler Allenbach, Sheffy, and Picardi. They've been serving the legal needs of individuals and businesses in the greater Pottstown area for 45 years. Our lawyers are experienced and adhere to the highest ethical standards. Our rates are fair and our results impressive. We're a full-service law firm with five lawyers and over 100 years of combined legal experience. When you call, you will speak with an attorney who uses plain English and who returns phone calls. We strive to exceed your expectations. If you want to talk with a competent attorney at a local law firm with a great reputation, call us, 610-323-1400. Again, 610-323-1400 or visit our website. Happy Independence Day from all of us at Jurger, Daler, Alibach, Sheffy, and Picardi. And the parade also brought to you by Grumpy's at their new location starting July 10th. Uh, it's coming up. They will be closed uh, July 3rd through the 9th at 137 High Street in Pottstown. Let Grumpy's cater your next luncheon or events. We are more than just a great sandwich shop. Call 610-323-1232. Or after hours, you have the number, number 484-948-6061. The new hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 8 a.m. That's breakfast at 6 p.m. Free delivery, $10 minimum. We do boxed lunches. It includes a sandwich, water bottle, side of coleslaw, pickle, and a cookie. And please, when you do that, allow 24 hours notice. You can also uh, catch us on the web, grumpysandwiches.com, or search us on Facebook, Grumpy's. Now, along with Steve Carabatis, I'm Al Gadosa. And uh, Steve, good to, good to work with you. Nice to work with you, Al. And we got the shade here. We're this, uh, the first time I think I've been live on PCT. I know it's the first time for me. <laughs> actually, I shouldn't say that. It's actually the second time for okay. me. Okay. Our last episode of Inside the Winter Circle back on February 1st, 1999, was a live broadcast. We did live call-ins, and uh, it was very interesting. We had a lot of callers that day. And this is uh, this is great. We'll be streaming the parade live over uh, the three stations of the PCTV network. We are stationed at uh, what many folks know as the old Senior Center, right inside of the Farmer's Markets. We're looking northbound across High Street. And it's called now the Ballroom on High, and we're actually in the, in the center on the second floor. Uh, just, a, just a beautiful view here overlooking uh, Carousel at Pottstown, Strand Shoes. Uh, there's a floor covering across from us there, discount floor covering. So uh, just, a, just a wonderful place to be viewing a parade on a perfect day. There we are. Getting a shot from Olivia Prothero, who was out here on her holiday, along with Matt Wagner, Gus Tellus. I hope I'm not missing anybody. Is there anybody else out there helping us? Okay, I think that's, that's it. our right. crew today. Right. Yep. <laughs> that's enough. Fireman from, uh, who's that? Is that Boyertown? Or is that Pottstown? Royers Ford. Uh, a lot of little cute little girls and boys here. And older older boys and girls as well. Yep. Now, the parade starts where, Steve? You know, it, I know it's further down, maybe toward the hospital. Yeah, I think it's down, uh, I, I think it's Kime Street, uh, okay. actually. Okay, the hospital, yeah, that'd be, a long, that'd be a long jaunt. And heads westbound, and we assume we'll be catching it soon. We have a long list of, uh, of people, and of course the fire companies, a couple of bands, got Philly's Fire Company, North End Fire Company. Uh, let's see, Collegeville Fire Company, Norco. I'm trying to see if we have any schools in this. We do have some alumni associations, I know that. We will have a homecoming queen from a school here in the area. We will uh, have my area of expertise, the Soapbox Derby winners. Uh -huh. who, uh, the last time I was on PCTV, just a few weeks ago, called that Soapbox Derby, and all the young people I interviewed who are heading off to Akron will be coming through. Yeah, we, as much as we love the breeze coming through, we got to be uh, alert that it doesn't take our papers I know. down the street. This is groundbreaking for PCTV. We are live. We're streaming on a 4G network. Uh, this is the, the newest phase in PCTV and one that we hope to uh, be able to emulate and continue for years to come. What's the great thing about these parades? You see kids come out. They're so excited. It's, it's vacation. A lot of them are on summer break. and just having fun out here. They don't care if it's hot or not. It actually feels good now, especially mm -hmm. if you're in the shade. There's a lot of places along High Street that are shaded. Yeah, and you can see all the all the young people and uh, and their parents and grandparents gathered out there. And you know, earlier you feel bad for them because they they seem like really 
the bad guys for doing this, but the, the police were out actually towing vehicles because, you know, honestly, the, the if you're parked there, that's just a, a spot that you can't see yeah. and uh, just makes a mess of the parade. And, you know, there were enough warning signs up, so I feel bad for those who, who were towed, and I feel bad for those who had to do the, the dirty job of towing the cars, but... You know, the police were out here in force earlier, making sure that uh, that everybody would have a clear view. And what a, what a what a beautiful day for this. Yeah, it's not like this doesn't happen every year. Right. Well, no. Yeah, you just mark your calendar. Let's see, July 4. Yeah, yeah not supposed to park on here. High Street that day. I still remember back in the old days. Well, I shouldn't say two old days, but we used to run the race through here. And right about now, the race would be coming through. And that was a 10K, and it seemed like it was always, always in the high 80s, low 90s. And now they run a, a 5K, and they started early at, at 8 o'clock instead. I think it's worked out better. Swing Cat Entertainment uh, for the ballroom on high. We're here for all your venue needs at 310 East High Street in Pottstown, PA. Uh, visit us on the web at ballroomonhigh.com, 610-308-7594. Learn in our dance studio and social dance in our fine dance venue at Swing Cat Entertainment. You ever do ballroom dancing now? No. I almost did a couple times uh, just because I had a free lesson, and I, I chickened out. My How wife and I had an opportunity back in the mid-'90s. Uh, actually, it was late-'90s. We had a whole bunch of weddings we were going to, and we knew some of the weddings would involve some ballroom dancing. So we actually took lessons up in Reading and, uh, and really enjoyed it. Did it become good? No. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's Okay. I want to thank our sponsor, like Yergi Daler, Alabak, Sheffy, and Picardi. And I'm pretty sure that's my buddy Ken Picardi, who's a former neighbor of mine. And I want to uh, rally people out there. The, the PCT net, PCTV network has, uh, has evolved and changed and developed. And, uh, you can really use some of your sponsorships out there. Don't don't hesitate to call us. Grumpies, they're on board. Touting their new location and new hours. And they're taking a little break. A little break, a week break, but they'll be back July 9th. It's pretty impressive, though, to move your business in a week. Yeah. That's that's going to be a lot of work. And I wouldn't uh, blame Grumpy for being a little bit grumpy <laughs> if that happens. Doug Crawford's a big help to us at PCTV as well. TechEqualizer.com, 484-558-0357. There you see the breeze blowing the pinwheels. I think they had pinwheels around when I was a kid. <laughs> it's amazing what kids do to entertain themselves. Absolutely. <laughs> this parade, I'm sure, has started already. It just hasn't come by where we are. And uh, these kids eagerly waiting, kids uh, running off to the it over as far as the bike lane, just peeking down the street looking. You know, is anybody coming yet? Is anybody coming? We're anticipating the Pottstown Police Department to uh, to be heading off the parade here in, in just a moment. I always thought the 4th of July was the second greatest holiday after Christmas. It just seemed like everybody was in a good mood. You had a picnic to look forward to. And you had fireworks. Of course, you had the, the summer off from school. And that's the big one for me. Yep. Anything in the summer. Although it seems like after the 4th of July, the summer just, just scoots right on by. Before you know, you got practice, fall sports practices coming up, and you got football season. Yep. Which isn't a bad thing. No, no, not at all. Football is a redeeming quality of back to school for sure. Now, Steve, you've been still following uh, NASCAR? Uh, actually, I'm not. No, okay, no. I'm not. No, I've uh, I've distanced myself from the sport. Uh, when I when I took the job at the church that I'm at, uh, just made my Sundays very very busy, and uh, unfortunately, NASCAR still insists on racing on Sundays. Ah, uh-huh, yes. It's very difficult for me to keep up. I do know that Junior won a couple weeks ago. Uh, friends with a, a big junior fan, so I know Dale Earnhardt Jr. has a win under his belt this year, but uh, that's about what I know right there. So that 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 won't carry a show very far. <laughs> you did a great job though with your show, and Thank you. I, I think people enjoyed that. It takes a lot of work. People don't realize how much work it takes to put something on the air, especially something where you have to do prep work. Yeah, it's uh, it was a half hour program, and it took twelve hours of prep time. Oh, I believe yeah, it. Yeah, it was it was a lot of prep. And uh, still keep in touch with my co-host, Bob Laird. He's down in North Carolina now and uh, enjoying life in his new home. And uh, he was uh, we were supposed to get together this past Thursday, but fishing trumped me. So you see where I rank now. <laughs> Did you give a pass on that? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll try and get together again next week. So we got some 
some business we're still involved in together and just uh, just thoroughly enjoy our, our time together. So You see the cameras. Uh, I think Matt is doing one of the cameras down there in Libby, and um, there's a camera up here side of me, and I hope I don't bump it. But if you, if you do see a little shake, but see, that's right there. That's, yep. that's the camera. We're trying not to bump it. Very careful. Now, oh, this just feels good with this breeze coming by. Cool. I don't think you could ask for a better day on the 4th of July. They do say uh, they want some storms later on, perhaps. We did have rain overnight, and I think you did as well over in Harrisburg. Is that right? Oh, I, you know what? I, I actually slept in town, oh, okay. and I didn't hear a thing. But we had some rain? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was rain last night. I remember the storms we had it was either last week or the weekend before. They were just brutal. Maybe it was a Thursday night or a Friday. Mm-hmm. It was wicked. I have friends down in Virginia. That that system that came through, they still don't have power. Oh, yeah, they've imagine. been out for like four or five days now. So it's, it's been amazing. I don't know how people survived before air conditioning, but it's it. I guess back then they didn't really have any of it. So it's not like you had to go to air conditioning and be out of it. Right? I think now we're so accustomed to having it that when we don't, it's painful. Right. Those kids are sitting good. Yep, they're they not got, getting rammy at all. Nope, they have their air conditioning. They're in shade with a breeze. Yeah, maybe not so, as much for him. We do. We have the shade. It is nice right. up here. Yep, oh, yeah. Yep. Brought a couple hats in case we had sun, but it's uh, that's not going to be an issue here. I remember one of the years here. The I think it was for this parade. They had the uh, parade of Dalmatians. They had a hundred Dalmatians. I think it was when the, the second movie came out. Mm-hmm. It's a very, uh, very skittish kind of dog. Some nervous folks out there. It's like, Daddy, come on, get it started. Boy, if she understood the history of that flag she is holding. Yeah. One day she will. I remember the uh, bicentennial, seven, 1976. I lost count of where we're at, but it's, get, it's getting close to 250. Yeah. Yeah, that bicentennial. I was I was just a, a wee lad back then, but uh, but I do remember a big deal being made of it. I'm a, a, a Greek immigrant coming to America. I was uh, naturalized right around that time, and uh, oh. you know, certainly learning a lot about American history and and uh, had to answer a whole bunch of questions in, in becoming an American citizen. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice job. I had to. Uh, Recite the Pledge of Allegiance, and uh, there were all sorts of questions. Many, you know, impress me now. I, I don't remember what they were, but I'll bet I still remember the answers. Uh, so it's an a interesting people, process. Yep, our whole oh, family went through it. So. A lot of people take that for granted. Yeah, who were born here don't realize the privilege that, that we all have. Yeah, the uh, the freedom that we have here. Uh, my father is a uh, was born in 1930 and lived through uh, World War II in Europe under a very real threat of, of Greece being taken over uh, by by the enemies. And uh, so when he came to America, uh, he, he died, uh, unfortunately, prior to 9-11. So he never really saw America attacked on its own soil wow. and, uh, and never, never felt threatened. And uh, my mother, 15 years his junior, uh, kind of grew up in a, in a Greece that was more of a Camelot. And so she, uh, she was a little frustrated to be in America. Uh, does spend a lot of her time in Greece now, but uh, but she didn't go through what he went through, and uh, certainly brought my brother and myself here for uh, for a better life, for a safer life, for a free life, and uh, for that I'm thankful. Man, that's a good perspective. So many people were born into this and don't realize what what we do have. I was fortunate enough; my my parents instilled that in me, and uh, always always very thankful for this, and always grateful. More than I can even uh, express to people who have uh, fought for our country and served or served in, in any any kind of capacity. Yeah, my wife and I never fail to thank a veteran any time we encounter yep. them. And you know who they are. They proudly wear those hats, and, and they should. And they should. Just a different era having to grow up back in World War II, and you just went off and fought, and you volunteered. And... I remember panicking when I thought we were going to have the, back in high school, they'd bring the draft back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now when we talk draft, it's usually fantasy football. Yeah. Hey, I think I see some uh, flags coming through there. Or am I imagining that? Is that flags? That looks like flags to me. I think with the first thing I have, Division One is the Pottstown Police Department. Mm-hmm. And 
been followed by the state police. Yeah, and the lower Pottsgrove police. So I guess you stick them up in the front in case there's a problem. They can just take off and, yeah. and zip right out. Our news reports that uh, law enforcement, and I guess to some degree our, our, our troops too, a little more uh, alert on holidays because yep. they are worried about the threat of terrorism. Unfortunately, you spoke about 9-11. That's just the way life is nowadays. It is. Unfortunately. I don't think that's on the mind.